In this video by Device Doctor, we'll show you how to fix the blinking lights issue on your Epson L3110 printer. A simple solution that works for similar models like the L3150 and L3210 too. Stay tuned. If you're having trouble with your printer, you can fix it for free on your own. If you have any technical questions or aren't sure which printer to buy, just ask us for expert advice and free support. Let's start by removing the scanner from the printer. It's not a difficult task, but be careful not to damage the scanner ribbons. Remove the two screws at the front of the printer. Lift the scanner carefully and detach the ribbons with precision to avoid any damage. Now that the scanner is detached, let's open it up. Unscrew the scanner and use a screwdriver to open its sides. It's not a difficult task, but make sure to handle it with care. Now, remove the two scanner gears and lubricate their positions with silicone oil to ensure the gears work smoothly and efficiently. Lubricate the gear positions with silicone oil and place the gears back in their positions. Also, apply oil along the scanner track to ensure smooth and effortless operation. Now reassemble the scanner and tighten its screws securely. Be careful with the ribbons and secure the scanner with its five screws. Now, remove the left side cover of the printer to easily place the scanner back in its position. Now, place the scanner back in its position. It's very easy, just follow along with the video.
Now reconnect the ribbons to the motherboard. Now, connect the power cable to the printer, turn it on, and check if the scanner error issue has been resolved. Now the printer's lights are no longer blinking. To make sure the scanner is working properly, let's make a copy once. Our printer issue is fully resolved and everything is working fine now. Now, we just need to close the side cover we opened earlier. Make sure to follow along with the video. Now, as you can see, we've easily reattached the side cover and we'll securely tighten the scanner screws. Now, our printer is back to its original state and we've successfully solved the scanner issue. We hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, please like the video and subscribe to the Device Doctor channel for more helpful content.